welcome back to my channel um and today will be a kidding down video of at peace i am so excited that i finished this and i decided to save my diamond art club drill since this is my first canvas and i kind of ran short on some drills if you hear any background noise just ignore it i live with family and i have a pet so you might hear just random noises just ignore it Okay, so I want to give y'all a look up the canvas. It's gorgeous. The drills. There were quite a lot of trash drills. I already dumped it in my jar. But this canvas is so pretty. And it comes with one AB drill. And also a disclaimer. I wanted this video to be out before the stash video. Because the stash video is taking quite long to film and edit. So... Please don't rush me. It will be coming out sooner or later. Okay, so we have everything here. We have my DMC color chart book that I haven't used yet, but it looks really fun. And also, I wanted to know um, which color chart does Diamond Art Club use? Is it the this one, the the Da Vinci one, Van Gogh, and there's like more. Picasso, and I just wanted to know because I have no idea, but they do seem to match up to this. And we have a binder over here and some card slips that I will be putting some baggies in. Speaking of, all of these will be linked in, to, in the description. I'll try to find the exact binder I found at, at Target, but here are the bags. These also come in big sizes, but I might just keep extra drills in here, like three and ten. And we also have some labels with the DMC number on it because I want it to look nice and neat. So let's get started. I also forgot about this, so I will be doing this on camera with y'all. We have to do these to insert into the bags to make them stand up nicely. They don't have to be perfect, but I just like the look of it so it's not so flimsy. You see all for like $3. plastic and throwing it but here it is it's just like some thinner cardstock but I'll be using these bags I kind of got the measurements wrong these are a bit small so if you're doing the technique I'm doing um, I did not make this technique I would get bags a little bigger than these I will link them down below but these would work perfectly fine Okay, so on here, these are about two and a half centimeters by two and a, yeah, these are centimeters. Basically two by three centimeters, two and a half centimeters by three. So by that much, we're going to cut it like this. We're just going to estimate how big it will be. I want it to be a bit smaller than the bag. So let me measure it real quick. Okay, so we have the drills. Diamond Art Club sent me extra drills because I ran short on some because of the trash drills. And the, um, I just lost some because I dropped some. But what I will be doing is I will get my binder first of all. Kind of switch them out. My drills are to the side of me, which will not be on frame. And as you can see, we have this. So what I will be doing is I will be emptying them into here to save them. And I will not be doing this with um, of any other brand except for this one because... 
because Diamond Art Club drills are just my favorite. Dreamer Designs has pretty good quality, but in my opinion, nothing tops Diamond Art Club. Okay, I'm back and I got this size. It's a bit smaller than the baggy. I think I cut it too tall. So we're just gonna cut a bit of it off. Again, this is trial and error. So y'all can struggle with me. <laughs> and I would recommend putting this in the background when you're diamond painting or just doing something. But here it is. And we're just gonna test it out. The paper thing, I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna cut it a bit thinner. So, about that size, and then cut. And I got this paper cutter thing from Target. Okay, so it does not need to be perfect. It just needs to stand up nicely. But there we go. I actually am kind of proud of that. And Diamond Art Club has AB drills. Here. Here's my little trash can. I'll just be putting all the trash in here. Diamond Art Club actually has AB drills, so I'll just be labeling it with these labels as well, but there's only one AB in here, and I like this because it comes with blank labels as well on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it off. Let's see what DMC number this is. Well, I need my containers. Let me move these papers. Okay, so it's 129. I don't believe it's on here. If it's not on there, I don't mind writing it, so I might have to write it. And I have two separate binders for round and square drills. So, yep, it skips to 150. So, since it's an AB drill, I didn't expect it to have it. So, let me go get some labels. There's some right beside me, under my trays. Oh, that's good. Okay, so my door just opened, don't mind that. But here they are. I'm just gonna quickly write them. Let me zoom in. I don't have a pen to write them with. Here. So it's 129 AB. It might be out of frame because I cannot write with a Sharpie on camera or else I'll mess up the whole label. Okay, so there it is. 129. Um and now we're going to get the bag and I'll go ahead and fill it up with the color. So what I was planning to do, um, I'm going to get a funnel tray. I'm going to get my big one that I never use. And I'm going to pour this color on there. And I'm going to get my cover minder that I usually use. I'm not going to stick it to anything. Open it and put the trash like any miscolored drills I see on there. Like you can see a few. And I don't want those going into the thing, the bag. So I'm just going to put them in here. And I'm not gonna get all of them. I'm just gonna get the ones I see. And I think that's all of them. I'm letting that dry, so I'm not putting on the label just yet. And now, I'm just gonna dump it in. And 
that actually worked better than I thought it would. And for Diamond Art Club AB drill, sometimes the AB coating is on the bottom of the drill. I don't know if that's normal, but sometimes it is on the bottom. So, yeah. So, it totally worked. And I'm going to put it on the middle of it. Because I like it like that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm very awkward. And then, I have to clean up my workspace. And then I'm going to get my binder. And then, slip it in this little binder clip. And that's how it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the little white sheets off camera cause I gotta measure them, but I will be back after I cut these. Okay, so I finished cutting most of them. I was too lazy to cut all of them. I was too impatient to, but we got most of them. I also have this slip that I didn't cut, which I need to cut. But so the next color is 300 color So and we have 40 colors to do so this is gonna be a long process But I will be removing these stickers With a blade So hopefully I can Because I heard Diamond Art Club stickers can be very stubborn. Oh, or I could just use my fingers. Well, that worked pretty good. So I'm just going to put in my little trash can because I won't be needing those again. So the next color is... 355 and hopefully we have that 355 yes we do and I lost my tweezers so I will be using these angled tweezers which are bent out of shape I, you guys could probably see um where my tweezers are. But I don't know where they are. This is 355. So this time I'm going to be sticking it on first. It's okay if it's not perfect. And now, get another card slip thing. Some of these are more square than a rectangle. Oops, this is the one. Oops. But everything will work out fine because they don't all have to be equal because it's just to make the bag baggy look nicer. And this one, as I can see, doesn't have any bad drills. Sorry, I had a sneeze, but we're now putting the gems in the baggie. And it's nice to kit down, but I love kitting up more. So here it is. Diamond. Some of these bags don't have a lot in it because there wasn't a lot of extras, but it's okay because I won't be needing these for the canvas again. Hopefully I won't. So my new work in progress will be a beach one. I am 
probably almost halfway done with it. I'll try to get it halfway done tonight. But I'm super excited. I have one that a company sent me that I have to do first after the beach one. But I'm super excited for that. My desk is a mess. This one, all of these colors are all mixed up. Okay. Let me rearrange my drills real quick because they're all messed up. I was so confused. Okay, so this one has to go out for now. I'll put it in when I get to it. But now we have number the symbol two, and it is one twenty. No, three twenty one. Three twenty one. This is kind of like my kitten chat video, but I'm going to title this probably kidding, kidding down new process because this is new to me. This is my first diamond art club painting. So I got to perfect this. And next time I do one of these, I'm going to plan everything out. Um, I'm going to the papers before I get on the camera. <laughs> okay, this one is 350. We're getting close to 355 again. I should have thought this out better. These labels are like my best friend right now. I don't like labeling things. Well, like, not, I don't like writing. So. Some of these I did not cut properly. I should have measured it. This one doesn't have any drills that I can see that are miscolored. So into the baggie. I was gonna film the, in my defense, I started filming a stash video and I did not want to film it. During, I when I was filming the stash video, um, a lot of bad things happened. I broke a nail so I decided to not film it anymore. My stomach started hurting, so I decided not to film it anymore. And my house was really loud that day, so I couldn't film it. And yeah, so this, so a lot of people have been asking when it would be out. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna try to have it out by the end of this month. It's just that I have to show a lot of paintings and it's a lot of work unboxing them and reboxing them. This is one of the stubborn stickers. And I'll also like these storage containers down below. To be honest, I don't really like them. 
but I wanted to try them out and I might use them for a giveaway prize. And also, I do not know if I'm gonna be able to do a giveaway. Shipping might be a lot to go international, but a lot of y'all seem to want it, so, and I wanna do one. Should have labeled it before I put the gems in the back. There's a lot of similar colors. Like earlier today, I mixed the simple H and A up, and they're like one DMC apart, which are this one and this color. I didn't even notice until I finished putting down the symbol. And this is 51. I should have checked the DMC. This is 51. Yeah, it's, I'm guessing it's 51. So there's that baggie. Okay, so I was debating to put one of these in it. Or a dryer sheet. I think I might put one of these in it because I don't want it to be so staticky. So, for round drill, I'm going to do the blue ones, and for square, I'm going to do the purple ones. I should have thought of that before. I just remembered because I like saw the static in the bag. And these are just laundry beads, like unstoppables. You just put one in the bag and then it, it helps prevent static and it also helps with static. But dryer sheets, like if your diamonds slash drills are like really staticky, I would recommend a dryer sheet instead of these because these don't help a lot. I just like using these to help prevent static. And I they also smell really good. I don't even know where my 55 bag went. 355. Found it. I hear so much background noise. You probably can't even hear. I feel like my house vibrating. Well, that's because there's a truck passing by with playing loud music. These are also double-sided, so they hold um, 18 on one slip. And from Amazon. Okay. This can go right here, because there's one color between these two. Oh my gosh. There's a... Mm, bad, a lot of bad drills in this color. Hopefully this video isn't too long. is very staticky. Okay, now we have three fifty two. This process would be way longer. Um if I did not have these labels, so I'm grateful for that. I don't know if this process will take so long, but it pays off in the end. I was going to use the Elizabeth Ward Warren. I don't even know which ones there are. Um, bead containers, but I thought that was a bit pricey for like 42 slots. So, um, um, got one of these. I, I saw these on someone. I don't remember who. But I think it was showing like a diamond on her TikTok. It was like a 
long time ago, but I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure it was her. And my notes just fell down for learning. I was trying to cut this off camera with my paper cutter, but I couldn't. This is gonna not be fun to clean up when I'm done. Yellow drill, static reliever, and then drills. A lot of people like mix them. I also mix them, but I wanted to save these for some odd reason. I was only gonna save the AB drill, but um, oops, that didn't turn out to be. And I also remembered I had extra AB drills. So now I have to re-put this in. I just don't like these flimsy baggies. I like these, these are higher quality. These are like the ones you get in. In um, kits. But I just don't like them. And I think two of these half bags can fit in one of those. And they're just like so much higher quality than the um, red ones. These are very staticky. So AB drills have a lot of trash drills for me. So I had to order more because like a lot of them were trash drills. Not even in frame. And if I have any more of these in kits, if this bag gets pretty full, I'll just put it in a separate baggie. And then I have a different storage system. For that. So now this bag is pretty full of AB drills, which is nice because I love AB drills. And in my next kit, if I get some in between these numbers, um, I will have to move all of them down, which is pretty tedious. But it's just to make it look nicer and like neater. Three, six, nine. So we're on um, seven now. This one is five, three, five, six. Another stubborn sticker. Not fun. Sorry for not talking in that bit very concentrated on peeling off that sticker. There's a buttload of stuff on my desk. Again, I should have put the label on first. Okay. This one, 355, is like scattered everywhere.
Now we're going to time flop this a bit so the video isn't as long. So let's get to the time flop. Okay, so it is the next day. Sorry for any background noise. It's in the morning. I have finished the binder, so I wanted to give y'all a quick look through. But before that, the containers, I'm going to do something with these stickers. I'm going to peel them off as best as I can. Put them in a journal and just don't write anything. Because I'm going to see the stickers and probably I'll write like some how long it took me. But I have an app for that, so I might not do that. But that is just gonna stay on there until I can find something to put it in. Okay, now for the binder. Oops. Okay. Ta-da. Again, it's at the best way to store them. I saw four kids at one something, um, Rebecca, that's her name, do some in the boxes and I might do that once. Um, once I have like extra drills like this, I don't have to put in a box, but here it is, just a quick look through. This bag is completely filled, so if I get this color and other kits that square drill, I will have to put it somewhere else. Same for um 726. And for people shorted, I might be able to send you some colors. Now, but Diamond Art Club, if you buy from Diamond Art Club, they send you free drills if you run out. So here's a quick look through. It's, I like how it's like, you don't have the hassle, so. Um, say if I wanted to add some AB drills in a different kit, I could just take some of these and put it in. And it's not a hassle because you can clearly see the numbers and you can just flip through them and I would usually have it standing straight up sorry my um, thing cut out but I would just like, usually have it standing up like this so all the diamonds can go to the bottom of the bag like that and I have like a box I store these in like standing up and I also wanted to include this this is my work in progress for um, the rest of this month probably probably two weeks i'll probably finish this section today i started it yesterday and i finished this section up so i'm gonna have this done by next the next two weeks i probably will circle drill i just use this huge multiplacer and go to town since i cannot use this multiplacer with square drills and the only multiplacer i use on square drills is the for placer and for rounds, I can basically use any placer. It's super easy. But here's my work in progress, and it shouldn't take me long. I will not be doing the same thing I did with the Diamond Art Club drills with this one, because these drills aren't the best, but I will just dump them in my jar. These are my square drill jars. There's a few at piece colors in here, because um, I had some bad drills that went in here. Well, that's all for the video. I hope you liked it. Um, comment down below if you want more of these. Everything will be linked in the description. And make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye.